extinctions of heterosexual people or <laughs> all of it from HIV. And it, to make sure that there are not too many objections, those who question it, like Fiala, like Nicholson sitting here, like uh, Rasnik sitting there, uh, like uh, Henry Bauer. Is he here already? I haven't seen him. Yeah, he's here, Henry Bauer, and of course, Duisberg are immediately intimidated to ask any further questions by calling them mass murderers. And that word is actually in press. It's in Discover magazine last year, and it's a little more subtle. They just say we, we are responsible for the deaths of three million uh, South Saharan, uh, no, South Africans, two and a half million from 2005. And they calculate that based on data that are accumulated on the uh, in Geneva, on the beautiful uh, lake of Geneva, on, in the headquarters of, um, of the World Health Organization, 9,000 miles away from South Africa, or else on even better, con close to the Charles River at Harvard by Max Essex and a black postdoc called Chiquidera. They have found these epidemics and published them in the Journal of AIDS and said, three million we, we got, or two and a half million, you are responsible for, and Becky is responsible for, and all the names I just gave you. We are essentially mass murderers. And that, if that is not enough, because we have written that up, they move further. They say, they say okay, you have published that. We uh, call the, or write to Elsevier, the publisher of the journal where this wa was published for two months. Same thing happened to Marco Ruggieri, you'll hear in a minute. Um, the, they call the, uh, the publisher and say, we are a risk for global public health. You can see that on Medline right now. That's still there. The rest of the paper has gone. The title is there and that we are under investigation. The five of us, of us Bauer, and Nicholson, and Rasnick, and Fiala, and Duisberg, uh, for global public health and for libel, uh, based on anonymous charges from the germ theoreticians of HIV. Names are not mentioned. And so I assume by now I'm ex you think I'm exaggerating and having illusions about the Holy Inquisition still working. Good. Leave. Okay, I'll stop right now. So please, no, please watch just the last three slides that shows you just the pictures. Here's that paper. Josh, you didn't do an excellent job. Well, what did you do? Uh, I tried to do it. I couldn't do it at all. But you did it. But nice. No, could have been better. Anyway, it shows that this paper was out. The only thing that's missing is the pages. And they do this now in the journals. They hype everything uh, ahead of publication. It's ready. It's finished. It's a, a, a page proof. The pages are still XX. But it was out for two months. And then withdrawn on the request of anonymous proponents of the Vatican. Uh, of the, I mean, of the Vatican of the AIDS research. Yeah. And in this paper, we ask, where is actually the evidence that all these people are dying? And I'll, I'll leave you with this one, the answer to this one last question here uh, with the next two slides. Here, you see, we checked. So if there were three or two million South, sub, uh, sub -Saharan, no, South Africans, not Sub-Saharan in this case, dying, which the paper claims between 2000 and 2005, that's in this window here, they would have, and then you would see probably like you did see in the London plague or in the, in the 1918 flu or in the polio days, you see a loss, of, a loss of people. The population declines. If it's such a bad epidemic where, where they said exactly two and a half million died unnecessarily because and Becky and the five of us told them, don't use condoms, don't use drugs, go ahead, as he used to for a couple of billion of years. And, and then he, they would have died. Now, here, look at this. Here's the population curve of the South African population that you never see in nature or in science. There's no room for such trivia. You know, we look at uh, the virus in some hidden reservoirs of some guys somewhere in the bushes. But that we don't publish. So look at this. You can get it from the U.S. Census Bureau. You can get it from the U.N. AIDS. You can get it even from the World Health Organization. But you have to work on your computers hard to find it. And here it is. It's very f and you can get it from South Africa, from the state of South Africa, statistics. They went during the AIDS epidemic, which started in the 80s, from 19, 29 million. Is it? No, it's 19. Okay. No, 29. To, guess what? 49 million. So this is a huge population explosion. They almost doubled the population during the deadly AIDS epidemic that's propagated by Time magazine, Newsweek, 
all these wonderful journals, nature and science, you never ask where are actually all the cadavers or where are all the missing people. What you see is the opposite. And that is a real problem for the country. They cannot keep up feeding them. Here is, by the way, the HIV epidemic, that these heroic HIV researchers coming to the jungle now with their AIDS testing kits, their condoms and their laptops have, have recorded. They found that 30% of the Africans are actually dying. They never come back with AIDS, strange enough. And I don't think they're all, I don't know what they do there, but certainly what they're, even they, they never come back with AIDS. The sex tourists also never come back with AIDS, only HIV occasionally. But see, 30% of them are infected, presumably, with HIV in sub-Saharan Africa. If this were plague, wombs, it should go down roughly to here. A third of them should be gone by now. And it continues to be, it should be, uh, there should be hardly anybody left. Maybe a Becky and a few HIV activists. That would be it. But here, the, the next, the last slide just shows these numbers, just you can see them here directly from them. Uh, there is no there there, as Gertrude Stein would have said about Oakland 50 years ago. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>